Well, everyone, if you're seeing this video, we made it out of 2020. Shocking, really. You know, I was fully expecting the aliens to land, because it's been one wild year. However, I have been saying for a while, I think 2020 is just the warm-up, and the big show is about to start. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about, um, Reed, where the heck have you been, man? Well, been dealing with some personal family stuff. Been real hard this last month. My father, he's been getting very old, you know, age gets upon all of us, and, well, he was dying, dying away, and finally it got real bad, more strokes, more issues and all that, and he slowly faded out this last month. I gotta admit, though, looking at the way this all went, saw how bad it was at the end and everything else, we are screwed up the way we let people pass around here. I mean, messed up beyond belief. You know, at the end, he's in so much horrific pain, they've just got him on a continuous morphine drip, and they're injecting Ativan all the time, so that, you know, he's in, not really aware of the excruciating, horrific pain he's in. If I did that to a criminal or an animal, yeah, I'd be locked up for cruelty for a very long time. For some reason, this is the norm we live in, for how people should die. It's pretty awful. Pretty awful. So, not really really happy about that. So my father finally passed, and actually, in all truth, it was a relief that he passed and died. Actually, big relief. Now, we were supposed to have the burial in the National Cemetery last Tuesday, and this is uh, Sunday that I'm making this video, you know, finally putting thoughts together. I wanted to get them out for you guys. But my brother, with dealing with all the stress, uh, he's much more um, emotional type, you know, and stuff than I am. I'm kind of very stoic a lot of times. And, you know, he was all that. He was having, you know, stomach pains and stuff and just really stressing out. Like, he sort of ignored, you know, his body pains and everything. You know, thought it was just dealing with the stress, the loss, and the pain of all that. Until he freaking passes out on us. And it turns out his appendix burst. So the funeral has to get postponed while he goes in for emergency surgery. So when I was saying 2020 wasn't through with us, kind of missed that it was, no, 2020 isn't through with me on a personal level. It decided to just cause other heck for me. And during the whole time that my father was passing and everything going on and stuff like that, it, you know, it really sucked the motivation out of me. Great deal. Great deal of the motivation I had for doing things, wanting to put things together. I got gobs of videos filmed, but I haven't even touched the editing on. I just didn't have the motivation to do it. I just was like, just dealt with work-related stuff, house-related stuff, and chatted with my friends. I just didn't really have much motivation. Now that he's passed and all that, it's got me been thinking a lot, been pondering things, you know, taking a stock of life. You know, things that it's time to, you know, events happen, it's time to reflect, ponder things, examine what's going on, you know, just get a sense of things. And you start really thinking about this sort of stuff. And I was thinking about some of the major long-term goals I had, and some of them I'm really getting there. You know, I want a full off-grid house. I want to, you know, be able to homestead and all that other stuff. I want a nice group of people around that were on the same goals, doing these sort of things. And that's coming together. I'm happy with how that's going. We got, we're out going, looking for a bigger pile of land. Uh, we're aiming for stuff like that. We're looking at where we're going to set up. We got a similar goal and stuff like that. We're moving forward. Um, you guys will we'll do videos on that as we go look at different places of land and show you what we think, what we see about places, you know, while we're looking at them and so on and so forth. We'll go over that, you know, and then you get to see construction as we build things, put stuff together, set up everything and all that. But some of the other long-term goals, you know, I originally had, like, when I was a kid, I really wanted to be a G-Man, join the FBI, and all that stuff, right? Well, you know, asthma precluded me from that. The same thing as, you know, when I was younger, you know, my father was always, you know, talked about how amazing the military was and all the great stuff they did. And I really wanted to, you know, join the Air Force. And asthma shut me out of that as well. And stuff. Got to be a contractor. Got to participate in some cool, neat stuff that way. Wasn't directly involved. But there was another thing, you know, with my intelligence and other stuff like that, was I really wanted to design computer chips. You know, you get the electrical engineering degree and all that stuff, actually design silicon, put it on, get it on a chip, get it labeled physically in your hands. Really wanted to do that. At the time, that kind of stuff was way out of reach. Um, you know, it was companies and multi-millions and millions of dollars to make computer chips, you know, and stuff like that. You know, there was usually a team involved, it's like that. Things are changing on that front. I was looking into it a lot further. I'm like, wait, this might be far more reachable now than I first thought. 
And I, so I'm going to be doing a lot more um, geek videos. I've decided I'm going to set up a whole bunch of things and go into deep passion on a bunch of this kind of stuff I was really into. Computer design, computer engineering, and all this stuff. We're going to, we're going to do that. So there's going to be videos. I'm going to call it like Geek Tuesday, Geek Thursday, and all that. Yeah, I mentioned this before, but I'm really getting into this. We're going to do, go into a whole bunch of stuff. So we're going to broaden the channel out for a bunch of other things. I mean, I do a bunch of stuff anyways, but I'm going to go into a bunch of other passions. You're getting to see more of what is Reed, what all sorts of stuff is he into, and I'm into a lot of stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of varied interests, always have. You know, I figure we'll also do engine building, engine machining videos. I've always loved working on cars and stuff like that. I got some real good pieces of junk that have been out in the rain for 10 years. It'd be fun to bring them back to life, some 350 Chevy engines. And some of you are probably cringing going, how bad are they? Oh, they're bad. They're horrifically bad. But I like bringing back old junk. <laughs> you got to go through all that. One of the other things that I've been thinking about is, you know, I'm a horrific introvert. Always have been, you know. I can entertain myself, take care of myself, do stuff by myself. <laughs> Just be by myself, you know. Um, lots of human interaction tends to wear me out pretty hard. It really does. But I think, you know, one of the things I need to do is, you know, use this medium a lot more, you know. Try aim for making that we do daily posts, cover things, go over a lot of stuff. Just talk about general life. You know, sort of embrace, you know, the YouTube family, so to speak. It's like that, you know, get things moving along here. Because I got some ideas and some plans further along in that thread of things I want to do. You know, I want to get into discussion about a lot of things going on in the world. Try to present ideas and things for people to get think about so that you're not just totally stuck with the propaganda from all the mainstream all the time. Most of you that watch me are probably aware of the immense and massive amounts of propaganda they're trying to force feed us. You know, put the tube in the mouth and just shove it down our throats. And I reject all that. And I think it's good that, you know, people have more voices out there. So that's why I also want to do a lot more of the computer engineering, geek stuff, engine building, all sorts of other stuff that I'm into to show that, you know, hey, a person with this interest can also think for themselves. A person that does that can also think for themselves. It's so like that. So I got some real good ideas about a show I want to start, you know, start doing some daily coverage, current events and all sorts of other stuff. And it's going to be a real challenge for me because, like I said, I'm a horrific introvert. But I'm going to make a goal for it. I'm going to really go and try to bring this stuff together. The other thing is I've got some really cool series things planned. And I've got, unfortunately, several episodes already filmed waiting to be edited. But now that my father's passed and I'm thinking, you know, this is sort of like the step. You're like disconnected. You know, your spot on the earth is your spot now. You know, there is nothing behind you. What you're making for yourself is you. It's all on you. And, you know, I've mostly thought that, but it really hit me further, you know, that what I make of my life is all on me. There's no one else stopping me, no one else arranging things, no one else altering that. It's just all me. Always has been. And, you know, I want something a little more. I want to put down a deeper legacy, I want to put stuff together. And, you know, putting stuff on YouTube does help solidify that and educate and show people, teach things. And it's going to be fun. Well... Maybe. <laughs> we'll see how many trolls show up. <laughs> but it's just, I've had a lot of thinking on that. So we're going to start posting a lot of stuff. Hopefully some of it you guys will actually find interesting and it won't be entirely annoying and drive everyone crazy. But I'm going to show all sorts of stuff and try to make certain every day there's at least one thing coming up for everyone to go check out and see what's going on. And we'll have people with the group and all that other stuff. And like, I'm still looking for more additional people. People interested, send me an email. We can chat things out and just work forward on there. So that's sort of what's been going on. We're in 2021 now. Um, a lot of people are saying, great, 2020 is over. You know, we don't have to worry about the bad times, the vaccines here. It's all going to be great. The world is going to get super wonderful and better now. You know, Biden's coming in. It's going to be outstandingly awesome. Yeah, I'm a pessimist. I always have been. But... I'm a pessimist that loves a challenge. You know, when you tell me the, you know, a world killing asteroid is hurtling towards us, I'm going to be like, well, the heck with that. I'm living through it and I'm going to find a way. Sort of my philosophy. And when I see 2021, I unfortunately think 2020 was a warm show. I think things are going to get real ugly going forward for probably a decade. I think we're going to have a lot of problems for a decade. And we're going to have to talk a lot about climate change related issues and not in the direction you think. So if you're thinking, Reed, what the heck? No, you're not thinking what I'm thinking about. You're thinking, or whatever that's supposed to say. <laughs> but 
we're going to go into a lot of climate related stuff like that and solar and stuff like that. We're going to talk about the engineering deep into, you know, how the challenges we face on the grid related to this are and why renewables are difficult. And then we're going to talk about lifestyle changes for how we can prepare to deal with the political effects of climate change. And that's going to be a big bunch of the topic, but I think we're from some hard times, everyone. So stay tuned to this channel. I'm going to aim to set up sort of a daily time slot for the show, figure out what days we're going to do it. You know, if it's like Monday through Friday or if it's going to be, you know, like a Wednesday through Sunday event or something like that. You know, we need a couple of days off to, you know, prep a plan and do things like that. Or if it's an every other day thing for stuff we're going to cover about a lot of other issues, we're going to put that together. But while a lot of people are celebrating the end of 2020, I'm thinking... The hard stuff is just getting started. And it's time I make a difference here. I mean, I've been teaching some stuff, but I really need to dig in deep. And some of this stuff, it's kind of hard for me to figure out how I want to present it because they're difficult topics and stuff. And, you know, some people don't understand all the numbers and things like that. So I've been working on animations and stuff. Not easy. I'm probably going to... Some of the stuff I think is just going to be just way out there. And if they are people, I'm sorry. But hopefully other wonderful geeks out there will also deeply enjoy what I'm actually presenting. Anyways, there's the randomly thoughts for today. And you know what's been up with me. And been very uh, introspective lately. But I feel my motivation coming back with vengeance. And I'm going to be very productive for quite a while. Take care, everyone. This is Reed. Out for now. <laughs>